They'll race around this course eight times a week. The dogs at the Flagler Greyhound track in Miami keeping a tradition going dating back to the 1930s. Go away, go away. In the 80s, we, uh, we, you'd see this place with thousands of people. All of this seating behind us would be full. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Dog racing has fallen out of favor with gamblers and aficionados in recent years. On this day, there were just a few dozen people in the stands, built to hold 7,000. Yet the dogs keep racing. It's part of what's known as a coupling in Florida's gambling laws, created to regulate the casino business. Tracks could open slot machines and table games as long as they kept the Greyhounds running. We needed to be able to compete um, in the market, in the gambling marketplace. Um, so without that, we would have gone out of business. Florida is home to more than half the nation's 21 dog tracks, even as revenue continues to fall dramatically. Animal rights advocates say it's about time to change the law and close the tracks. This industry should be banned because it's cruel and inhumane. The dogs must stay in crates in cages. Track owners want them gone too. They unsuccessfully lobbied the state legislature to change its casino rule. As audiences dwindle and public pressure mounts, it may not be long before this dying sport is a thing of the past. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.